आई एम डॉक्टर पारुल शाह साइकोलॉजिस्ट ग्राफोलॉजिस्ट वर्कशीट डिजाइनर एंड फोनिक्स एक्सपर्ट आई एम द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक एम्पावर विद बी एल ए फोनिक्स वन एंड टू बोथ आर अवेलेबल ऑन एमेजॉन एंड फ्लिपकार्ट टूडे वी आर गोन टू टॉक अबाउट नोशन विच आर बीन बिलीव बाई पीपल अबाउट फोनिक्स to start with let's understand first what is phonics phonics is the relationship between sounds and the letter names so each letter has a sound this helps a lot in reading and writing english so when we say cat we break it into k a t cat and the we teach children that c says k a says a t says t so it is the relationship between the sound and the letter now this is very helpful for children as this this solves major two problems number one the problem of reading and secondly the problem of writing their own spellings these are the two major problems that children face at the age of pre primary primary or secondary and phonics is the best solution for this reading and spelling problem now we have seen so many reports have come that in india the reading issue is too much for primary children primary cannot even read three letter words sometimes easily so at this time when children are facing reading problem to a lot phonics helps in solving it so phonics is very important so this was the first notion that phonics helps in solving problem we it's not like you know the it's a fashion of going or because it is do are done in the west so we need to do it all the others are doing so we need to do it no it helps a lot in solving the problem of reading and writing secondly phonics can only be done in pre primary this notion is wrong because phonics can be done at any age even a sixth grade child is facing a reading problem he can't read words you can do phonics rule with that child also so phonics can be done at any age be it pre primary primary secondary even few rules when we do in teacher training they don't know so even you can do it for adults maybe for other competitive exams where they have problem in reading different words so phonics rules can be applied to make words easier simpler so it can be learned at any age third point phonics is uh, you know different and grammar is different so first they want their children to learn phonics in pre primary and then they said that in uh, primary grades we only want our children to learn grammar now this is wrong phonics and grammar go hand in hand they both go together so we start a bit of grammar in pre primary itself when the children are doing phonics and we do phonics in primary also when the children are doing grammar the difference is the percentage the weightage what we do in pre primary it is 80 like junior kg 90% phonics 10% grammar in senior kg it is 80% phonics 20% grammar so like that the weightage increases as you move from pre primary to primary but both are done together and if both are done together then only you will get a complete result you so both of them are actually supplementary to each other they supplement each other and that is why they should be done together this is our third notion now fourth notion is vocabulary phonics helps a lot in promoting vocabulary now many people say that in phonics they only learn to read but what about the meaning meanings are not taught in phonics but to know the meaning or to understand what that word is don't you think that they should first be able to read that word only if they can read that word they will then maybe gauge the meaning by the sentence or they can find the meaning in the dictionary but to even find the meaning in the dictionary they should be able to read it so reading the word is very important for taking it forward to its meaning or using that word in speaking or writing 
so vocabulary is very important in creative writing and to develop vocabulary reading is very important and that is why phonics promotes vocabulary now another notion is that the levels of phonics are only done in pre primary that is not the case only first few levels of phonics are done in pre primary later on the higher levels of phonics are done in primary so there are many rules in phonics which at the age of senior kg or junior kg they will not understand so we need a level of maturity for them to understand the rule and then later apply so those higher levels of rules are only done in the primary grade when they come across certain big words so they will utilize those rules and understand them better these were the notions that many people have about phonics we all know a lot about phonics but then few uh, concepts of phonics or these notions are very different from what phonics really is and that is why i hope this video will help you to understand the concept of phonics little better if you have still any doubt please comment below to know more please subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified by our further videos bye bye take care thank you